Hi. In this chapter, we will be learning more about density. Density and its effects on atmospheric, atmospheric uh, criteria which affects aviation. Okay. So, what is density? <coughs> density is nothing but the measurement of mass contained in unit volume. Measurement of any mass contained in unit volume. That is called density. Okay. So, what will be the unit? Mass per unit volume. So, for uh, our convenience, we use it as kilogram per meter cube. Kilogram is mass and per unit volume. For volume, we need something cube. So, kilogram per meter cube or grams per meter cube. And we know in ISA condition, what is the density of air? In ISA, it is 1225 gram per meter cube or 1.225 kilogram per meter cube. Okay. Means there should be 1 kilogram, 1 and 1.225 kilogram of mass in 1 meter cube box. That much shape, there should be 1.225 gram of air. Okay. So, what are the reasons of changing density? What can cause change in density? There are certain factors. One is pressure. Second is temperature. Then comes humidity. Okay, these are the three main factors which can affect density directly. Okay, when pressure is increased, what happens? When pressure is increased, the amount of gas in that unit volume will also increase, right? Because there is more pressure. So density also increases. And when temperature is increases, temperature when increase it will cause loss of pressure. So of course what will happen? Density will decrease. And then comes relative humidity. Air is more dense than water vapor. Air is denser. Actually air has more weight than water vapor. So what can happen if uh, humidity increases? Increase in humidity means decrease in density. Okay. So now let us consider one other point called density altitude. What is density altitude? Density altitude means as per ISA conditions, if ISA condition prevails in any area there should be some prescribed density. Okay, because density decreases with the height. So there should be some prescribed density in a prescribed altitude. So the altitude at which a prescribed, alt uh, a prescribed density can be found is the density altitude. And if ISA condition is prevailing in the atmosphere, then density altitude must be equal to pressure altitude. Right? If ISA condition is prevailing, no other factors are changing. Pressure altitude is al always equal to density altitude also. Then comes what is the change of density altitude with other factors. If we say density altitude is high, that means high density or low density. If density altitude is high, that means low density. If we say less density altitude, that means high density. Less density altitude means density is more. This is earth. Less density altitude ha can happen over here. So that means density is more. High density altitude can happen over here. Don't confuse with high density and altitude. It is high density altitude. Okay, so height is preferred in that uh, word itself. In this wording itself, we should give preference to the height, word height. So height density altitude is equal to less height or more dense air. Okay, so likewise, less density altitude is equal to more height or less density 
okay so how density can affect flying actually density has no uh, no significant effect on flying but still there is some effect okay for example when there is a lesser density is expected then we need a longer distance of takeoff run a longer distance of landing roll and the climb we can expect will also decrease climb rate will also decrease because air is not so dense that means we have to move farther for takeoff we have to um, exert more power for climbing and we can we should expect because air is less dense so braking efficiency will also be reduced so we need more braking distance also that is the direct effect of density with flying <coughs> actually moist air when the uh, less density occurs one thing is moist air moist air means relative humidity is more where relative humidity is more density is less apart from that runway will be maybe runway can be wet and so we should expect more take off and landing distance also when density is less and when relative humidity is high okay and what are the actually diurnal variation diurnal variation is there in density also when can the least density occur and when can the highest density occur least density occurs during afternoon okay and highest density occurs during sunrise just after sunrise when the temperature is the least density will also be the highest because temperature and density are inversely proportional why because temperature directly affects pressure also inversely proportional pressure also so density is also affected and so less density can be <laughs> expected during afternoon and high density can be expected just after sunrise when the temperature is the least and there are some prescribed values of which uh, values which affect density change one percentage of density change density loss can be expected when there is 10 hpa of pressure loss or 300 feet of height gain okay when there is a 300 feet of height gain then we we can expect 1 percentage of density loss and if 10 hp of pressure is lost then also we can expect this then 3 degree celsius of temperature rise okay these are the actually this is an approximation of density with the other factors like density loss can occur when 10 hp of pressure is lost one percentage of density also loses and as i told you density decreases with the height at what ratio okay for every 5 to 6 kilometers density is being halved means in sea level it will be the highest density after 5 to 6 kilometers it will be half like 600 grams 620 grams per meter cube and then from there again 5 to 6 km it, it will become 300 grams like that but still even in the stratosphere there is a uh, dense air which can support fly density is enough to be felt okay and then comes latitudinal variation of density where will be the density more for example this is earth okay equator 0 degree poles 
So where should be the density more? In mean sea level, density is more at poles. Why? Temperature is the minimum in poles. Means temperature is so less that humidity is also there. Uh, humidity is also not there. Why? Because the temperature is so less that water vapor cannot exist in water vapor form. So relative humidity is not there and temperature is also very less. So relate, um, density is more in the poles and the least in the equator and tropical region. Okay, that is the latitudinal variation of density. And one more thing is there. As we know, okay, maybe or may not be. Uh, piston engine aircrafts means low level flying piston engine aircrafts they need dense air to fly okay so where will be the efficiency of such aircrafts more their efficiency will be more in polar region and in subtropical region okay and and when we uh, consider the jet engines they need to fly in a higher altitude where pressure is very less because then only they can move faster. So for them it is more better to fly in tropical region and in equatorial region. Why? Because pressure will be very less at the higher, higher altitudes. Okay. And density will be also less. So efficiency of piston engine aircrafts which are flying in low level it is more in poles in polar region in higher latitudes and that of jet engines are more in the tropical and equatorial region okay actually as i told density is a small chapter and this is all about density now you can start attending your online exams and you can log into your account and start writing the exam you can even rewind the topic uh, portion from the study materials. Okay, thank you.